Greetings, this is Bloodrill and welcome back to Let's Play Sutherland Dragonfall uh, Director's Cut. So, things went full bad as usually and now we have to fight on two fronts, both in the Matrix and in the Midworld, I guess, again. And there were a ton of enemies too, so we'll see. The intruder avatar simmers in the cool ambient glow of the bank's Matrix hub. His nears at bleeds and his hands close into fists. Who the hell are you, man? Mr. Decker, I could ask the same of you. You are in my banking system, you little bastard. What? My name is Plods. I, I run the Landerberg Ring. That makes this bank and everything in it mine. That means that you and your friend are trespassing and that means that neither of you is going to make it out of here alive. I'm sucking in my boots, man. I mean, seriously. How old are you, by the way? Because you look about 40. <laughs> uh, the banker's face is overtaking by a menacing smile. I'm still spry enough to ruin your day, punk. Your ass is mine. Do you feel lucky? Do you, punk? Alright. Wow, that didn't do much. Uh, hmm, I think I should go closer, get a better uh, shot. Oh, what the fuck? This as well. 71% both misses. Awesome. We kill him, everything goes away, I think. If it's uh, someone like. Oh, come on, this is a third. Uh, third 70% uh, just shot I missed. That's some bullshit there. Jesus, oh wow, you can kill too. Whoops. I'm so screwed, thankfully missed. Oh, are the turrets against me? I regret using my grenades. I regret everything. Well, at least we got the rigger. Thank you. against me. Apparently. Great. Fucking awesome. Uh, I think I'm fucked actually. I don't have a heal. So unless I can kill him in one round. Almost. Too bad. This is what I should have done I think. Oh, that was close. Fuck off. Alright. Run, 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 run. Take the turrets. So close. Alright, let's go to three. I picked wrong. 
Can I have one more turn? Nope. Alright, let's see. Okay, it has a ton of armor, Jesus. Eh, we can still take it. Alright. I should have two towers with me. Get okay, them, you sir. Alright. Good job. Very good job. Because it picks me out. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Plots is down and all four turrets are back under my control. Go to town, chief. I've got you covered. Good job, man. Good job. You're awesome. Don't crash game. Thank you. <coughs> Alright. Spells. Spells. Fuck them up my turrets. Nice. Alright, half full cover there. Can I get full cover anywhere else? Fire. Nice. Most of our targets are too far away. But we don't care. Uh, 41, sure. Let the targets take care of it. Hopefully. Can't stop missing. Alright. Almost. Wow, did far better than I expected to do actually. Over. Who's left? God damn it. The game could at least save. Nice. Bouncing up together. Fuck them up, fuck them up. Ooh, very nice. Be cautious. <laughs> All right. What that? That he thinking was to what the fuck? Kill this guy from the. This guy. God damn it. Three. 
Not dead, really. Very nice. Oh, also very nice. Yeah, good job. Don't mess with my targets, bitches. ability that the auto reloads is fucking awesome. Oh come on, hit him. Okay. Nice. Gunfire dies down and the smoke clears. You and Hudson come find yourself staring at one another across a room stacked with corpses. Well I take care of that. And now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go take care of Mr. Grinder. He tosses something to you. Reflexively, you snatch it out of the air. The object feels smooth and warm to the touch. It's the plastic box that Hasenkamp pulled out of the safe deposit box. My former employer won't be needing it anymore. Give it to your pal, Blitz. I'm sure that he can find a use for it. Hey, alright. What does it do? Beats me. From the connections on the bottom, it looks like it was made to plug into a summer deck. Beyond that, I am as in the dark about the thing as you are. All I know is that Grinder wanted it. <coughs> that should be good enough for the red hair disaster. <laughs> anyway, I've got things to do, I should go get to them. If I hurry, I can have Grinder dead in a dumpster and still get home in time to read the grandkids a story. What about plots? Never did like the man. I'll give him a chance to scurry away, let him get his hopes up for a day or two. Then I'm gonna chuck his ass into a, a wood zipper. Good luck. Don't need it, but thanks anyway. He turns to leave. You did good, Phoenix. You ever get tired of running the shadows? You come see me. I could find a place in my organization for a woman like you. I'll keep it in mind. Also, save. Alright, saved. Well, that goes that went much better than expected. What the fuck is that? Ah that's uh, okay. Yes. <coughs> that was a tough mission. Mainly because you can't save and uh, especially in waves of enemies that's rather unfortunate. The ride back to the cruise bazaar is a lonely one. The train car smells a little better than the one you rode in on. It isn't great but at least it doesn't leave you gagging. Still, things are looking up. You've helped Blitz pull himself out of hot water and with any luck at all you'll never have to set foot in Dragon Kipe again. After a long, boring trip, the car settles to a stop. Rattles to a stop. Okay. You're home. Home, 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 home. Alright. Only two karma out of all of that. Oh, come on. That was bullshit. Let's go talk to Blitz. See if he has anything to say. Oh hey, Chief, you're back. And we've got the box, right? He takes an eager step forward, uh, his hand extended. Give it here if you please. Sure. Alright, thanks, Chief. Let's plug this puppy in and see what it does. 
with a series of depth motions, a blitz pops the plastic cover on an unused expansion slot in his cyberdeck and slides the mystery box home. A recessed light in the box goes from red to green. He boots up the deck, staring at the code that scrolls across its integrated display. Ha, huh, well, this is weird. The data hard-coded into this thing is jam-packed with Comlink software. It looks like it has protocols for all of the major brands, sysadmin levels tool, and there is something else. What do you see? Slowly a smile spreads across his face. This thing is like a master key for communication systems. With this box plugged into my deck, I could hack the comlink of just about anyone in the same room as me. How is that useful? <coughs> he scoffs. Use your imagination, Chief. Just about every security goon in Berlin is wired to a comm system of some kind or another. If I can, if I can hijack those comms, they can cause all sorts of confusion in the ranks of our runs. Okay, this is one hell of a toy. I can see why Grinder wanted it. Alright, let's see what you do with it then. So, is there anything else you want to talk about? The vault door, the one that you forgot to account for. Was that really an accident? His mouth drops open. Of course it was, Chief. I'm shocked that you'd even ask. What do you think? That I, I, I'd purposely strand you in a bank vault? I mean, what kind of asshole would I have to be to do that? If that wasn't a part of your plan, then it was an oversight of epic proportions. C you can see how that isn't much better, right? Oh, come on, Chief. Like you never made a mistake. Look, you can lab bust me all you like. Aside from that one little detail, the plan was perfect and I'm proud of my performance in there. Alright. The performance was good, but the plan was far from perfect. What the hell? This is uh, new. Nothing much doing fine, what do you ask? Because you don't look fine. Do you care? What? More story? Chief, please, I always operate at 100%. Alright. To be completely honest, what you just said was totally false. I, uh, I decided to look into Emil's disappearance again. Before you blow a gasket, you should know that I've turned up a clue. Alright. Well, I, I did some housekeeping and I discovered something. On the morning that Emil disappeared, some information vanished from my summer deck. She did a good job of covering her tracks, but I can see the signs. She grabbed the data and ran. End of story. What kind of data are we talking about? No idea, Chief. I grabbed it on a lark when me and Emil were goofing around in the Matrix. The file was encrypted all to hell, and I never could get it open. I only took the damn thing because she told me not to. She said that security would be too tight that I get myself killed. But I holds on in there and took it all the same. You should have seen me, Chief. It was a thing of beauty. I don't think I've ever, be, ever been as much on my A game as I was that day. Blitz, where did you take this data from? A corporate database. You know, no big deal. Tell me which corporation, Blitz. Oh, you know, no one important. Uh, uh, I stole the file from Ask Technology. A tinge of red crawls into Blitz's cheek. He slaps his feet. In hindsight, it might not have been the best of ideas. You think? Yeah, I guess. Emil... Actually, it's Emily. Emily wasn't too impressed either. Our only real big fight was over that stupid file. Anyway, time passed, eventually we made up and laughed the whole thing off. Or at least I thought we did. Truth be told, I forgot all about it until I realized that that had gone missing. My advice walk away, Blitz. I do not see if this whole incident has me rethinking a lot of things. What if, what if she took the file to protect the Aziz? What if she's with them? I've got to admit, that has me worried. I'm even more torn up now than I was before. I don't know what to do, but I'm open to suggestions. Hmm. Your ex did you a favor. If the Aziz haven't come after you yet, they probably aren't going to. So drop it and move on. Maybe you're right. I'll try to let it go. I just hope that I'm wrong about this. Alright.
Blitz is looking for trouble and he's gonna find it I'm pretty sure. Alright, thank you for watching, subscribe, like, leave a comment if you want to, and I will see you next time.